I'm Andrew Edwards, and you're watching Gear Live. Smart home tech is all the rage right now with appliances being able to be controlled with apps and even by voice. Apple's smart home platform is called HomeKit and it allows you to control your devices in multiple ways. In this episode, I give you a look at my five favorite HomeKit devices that I use here in my smart home. What's going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor in chief of GearLife.com. If you're into tech and gadgets, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below along with the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future videos. As I mentioned today, I'm telling you all about my smart home. Here in my home, I use Apple's HomeKit smart home platform. So all the smart home devices that I use here, I can control using Siri. Now one caveat before I get into the best HomeKit devices that I use here, I actually only buy devices that work with all three of the major smart home platforms. So those would be Apple's HomeKit, along with Amazon's Alexa, which is probably the most popular, and the Google Assistant as well. There is also Microsoft's Cortana, which is a smart home platform, but doesn't have anywhere near the reach of those other three. But the reason why I wanted to bring that up is because anything I mentioned in this video, if you use Alexa or if you use the Google Assistant instead of HomeKit, these will all work in your home as well. So let's set the basis of a HomeKit smart home with how I control everything. I have HomePods spread out throughout the house. In fact, I have eight HomePods here in my home, which allow me to control all the devices that I'm gonna talk about in this video. If you're unaware, the HomePod is Apple's smart speaker that adapts to its location in the room to deliver hi-fi audio, and it sounds great. They're about seven inches tall, but they're super dense, and if you haven't heard one, the sound is pretty incredible. Now you might be wondering, what does a speaker have to do with controlling your smart home? Well, the HomePods also have Siri built in, and they're always listening for that Yo Siri command. So these serve as your HomeKit base station, so you can control any of your HomeKit compatible devices by speaking your command to a HomePod. Now, of course, you do not have to have a HomePod or multiple HomePods in your home. You can control your HomeKit devices using an iPhone, an iPad, an iPod Touch, an Apple Watch, a Mac, or even an Apple TV. But the reason I like having HomePods around is also because guests can use them as well. So now with that established, let's jump into my list of the top five best HomeKit compatible smart home devices, starting with Serena Shades. In what may be the coolest item on the list, Serena Shades are smart shades for the connected home that you can control using your voice. So you can easily open or close your blinds by saying, yo Siri, open the blinds, or yo Siri, close the blinds, but you can also say things like, yo Siri, open the blinds in the living room halfway, or yo Siri, open the blinds in my office 25%, or even yo Siri, open all the blinds upstairs. Now, since I use HomeKit, I could also take advantage of different scenes. That's basically programming all your devices to work together to do things at a certain time or with a certain command. For example, if I were to say, yo Siri, good night, my front door is gonna lock if it's unlocked, my garage door is gonna close if it's open, all the main lights are gonna turn off, all the night lights are gonna turn on, and all the blinds are gonna be lowered, all with that one single command. As far as the Serena shades go, they're battery powered, which means no wires, low maintenance, and easy installation. I actually have eight of these Serena shades in my home, and all eight of them combined took about an hour to get installed. So it really just takes a few minutes to install these. And once they're up, you can just flip it open to swap batteries if they ever run out. Now I've had them for a few months, no battery issues so far. I also like that there's a ton of options to customize the shades to your liking with over 150 different fabrics and colors. The shades move smoothly and barely make a sound, which is a nice improvement over my older blinds. They were still automatic, but they needed a remote. And when you move them up or down, it was cool that they would do it automatically but they were slow and they were loud. So big shout out to Lutron with these Serena shades that operate smoothly. As far as pricing goes, it's hard to say because you need to measure your own windows and they custom make them to fit into your home environment. But if you wanna check them out for yourself, head over to serenashades.com. All right, number two on my list of my favorite home kit smart home devices is my Chamberlain smart garage door opener. Chamberlain sells six different garage door openers, but the one I have is the B970 ultra quiet version with battery backup. The unit connects to your home network over Wi-Fi and can be controlled with the included wall switch, a wireless keypad, a smartphone app, 
or your voice assistant of choice. This is pretty straightforward as asking Siri to open or close your garage door from anywhere in the world is pretty great. You can also ask for the status of your garage door by asking if your garage door is open or closed. If you use a voice command to close your garage door, it will emit a warning tone in order to let anyone know who may be standing in a way or may have something in the way of the door closing that they should move because that garage door is about to come down. Being a HomeKit device, you can also get alerts on your phone when the garage door is open or closed. And by the way, for some strange reason, I'm not sure why, you can use this with HomeKit, you can use this with Amazon Alexa, but if you choose to use it with the Google Assistant, Chamberlain is gonna charge you either $1 per month or $10 per year for the privilege of using it with the Google Assistant, which makes no sense to me. As far as pricing goes, you can pick up the Chamberlain B970 Smart Garage Door Opener for about $250. Up next on my list of favorite smart home devices that work with HomeKit is the August Smart Door Lock Pro. This is the smart door lock that I use to protect my home and allows me to lock and unlock my front door from anywhere while granting access to friends and family. It lets me track exactly who's coming and going and I can get alerts anytime my front door is locked or unlocked. The August Smart Door Lock also has automatic lock and automatic unlock and that works with geofencing so if i were to leave my home i have it set up so that anytime i pull into my driveway the front door automatically unlocks that way i get out of my car i walk up to my front door and it's already open and that way i don't have to fumble for any keys or open up an app now i also have the august smart doorbell cam pro which works hand in hand with the smart door lock when someone rings the doorbell i get a notification that allows me to see a photo of who it is i can then start a video conversation with them right on my device and at the bottom of that conversation is the door lock control. So I can unlock the door and let them in if it's someone that I want to have in my house. You can pick up the August Smart Door Lock Pro right now for roughly $220. All right, moving on to number four, let's talk about the Ecobee 4 Smart Thermostat. The Ecobee 4 connects to your home Wi-Fi network, allowing you to control the temperature from anywhere that you have an internet connection. This isn't new as there are a few other devices out there that can do the same thing. However, there are a couple of things that set the Ecobee 4 apart for the competition. The first of which is obviously built in support for Apple's HomeKit and Yo Siri support as well. So you can raise and lower your temperature with your voice, but you can also include it in scenes like I talked about earlier. For example, you can use HomeKit to recognize when the sun sets. And you can say in the summertime when the sun goes down, turn off the AC. And in the wintertime, when the sun goes down, turn on the heat. You can also use that geofencing feature to say, turn off your HVAC system when you leave the house. And then when you leave the office, turn it back on so that your house is to the temperature of your liking when you go through your front door. Even more impressive, the Ecobee 4 is not just controllable with Amazon's Alexa, but it actually is an Alexa device itself. What I mean by that is you can talk directly to the thermostat and it will talk back at you in Alexa's voice. So for all intents and purposes, the Ecobee 4 has an Amazon Echo Dot built in. You can use that functionality to control the temperature itself. You can use that functionality to control your other smart home devices. And of course, you can use it to just ask Alexa various trivia questions. You can pick up the Ecobee 4 right now for about $230. And last but certainly not least on my list of the best Apple HomeKit compatible smart home devices, and probably the easiest one to get into is Philips Hue Smart Light Bulbs. Philips Hue is my favorite line of smart lights, as Philips has just about every type of light you can think of, both indoor and out. They've got starter kits, bulbs, light strips, lamps, and all sorts of accessories to control them all. The lights are all energy efficient LEDs and come in a bunch of shapes and sizes to fit your home perfectly. Everything can be controlled from the Philips Hue app itself, but of course, since this video is focused on Apple's HomeKit, you can also control them with Siri. Simple commands to not just turn the lights off and on are there, but you can also change colors. You've got commands like, yo Siri, turn the lights in the kitchen blue, or yo Siri, turn the lights in the dining room to 80% brightness. One that I use almost daily is part of a scene, which is yo Siri, I'm watching TV. What that does is turn off all the lights in the living room, turns on a bias light behind the TV and lowers the lights in the kitchen to 20% brightness, all with that one command. The easiest way to get started with Philips Hue is with a starter kit. You can get four smart bulbs that can emit millions of colors along with a Hue bridge for $200. And that Hue bridge, by the way, can support up to 50 different 
hue lighting accessories. Now those are my top five best Apple HomeKit compatible smart home devices. If you wanna see another cool smart device I have here in my home, be sure to check out the video on the Samsung Family Hub refrigerator with a ridiculous 21.5 inch display and Bixby voice control built in. I will leave a link to it up here in the card as well as down in the description below. If you wanna use HomeKit for your smart home and you have questions for me about any of the devices I talked about or just HomeKit in general, drop them down in the comments below and I will meet you there for further discussion. Big shout out to all the channel supporters. If you wanna become a member officially of the Tech Squad for exclusive behind the scenes perks, secret videos, and more, there's a link down in the description below to that as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Webbers and I will catch you in the next video.